You know the type of sensation you get anytime you're in a good mood for some fun stuff. Well, that's exactly how we feel right now to be doing this with you guys. Yes, sir. No lies told. <laughs> you're welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. And you know how we do it. Your Wednesday afternoon is absolutely incomplete without us. And that's on period, ladies and gentlemen. That's on period. Yes, period. yes, yes. <laughs> and for those of you on the move, you can watch us online or on our website. It is www.tvcentertainment.tv. Or you can follow the conversation on our socials at TVC Connect using the hashtag Eastlash on TVC. <laughs> Vibe, guys. It is your girl Dala, aka the goddess of skills, aka the goddess. Mm -hmm. Just, just chilling today. As oh, shit. Chilling. oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! And of course, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, this is Royal Highness Miss Planets. I go by the name King OJ, but you can call me OJ. Chee That's what it is. It is Chee what it Chee is. Chee <laughs> I'm not doing. I apologize. I'm from the jungle, right here. With the uh, money. Wait, why, why are you, what, so, what, okay. What happened? No, nothing. Talk. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Talk. Nothing. Okay, <laughs> okay it's your own girl right here again. Mm -hmm. It's your girlfriend next mm -hmm. door. It's the honey with the shmoney, mm -hmm. baby. It's honey piece of plus cheese. Mm -hmm. It's honey pot, baby. Mm -hmm. It's a jewel in the club. Mm -hmm. Should I go on and on? The hostess with the most <laughs> You don't do, you don't do, you don't do, you don't do, you don't do. Before, before, okay. before the show we finish. Go away! <laughs> All right, now, so we'll be there. You people are not focused today on the issue. You are not focused today, but Did you just say that? Yeah. All right, we'll kick things off with today's entertainment stories. Mm -hmm. Now, take some celebrity birthday shout-outs, rewind, and also check out our woman crush Wednesday for today. Mm -hmm, yes, mm -hmm. on today's Daily Top 5, we will be talking about Nigerian musical siblings, while later on, I will be in charge of laughs on today's Sweet Bill segment. Yes, sir. On the flip side, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be chewing it off and checking out the news recap, after which we'll be dropping it hot, hot on this week's East Splash Top <laughs> you already know how we do. We'll be back in a Let's bit. Get out there. Hey. <laughs> That was a year for go by, by nice. nice. I, See, I wanted to say Grammy Award winning. So, uh, what are you about? Are you shading people? See, and OJ. No, 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 no. No, no it's today, still possible. Today, so today far, we are in this. Anytime you wake up, it's your morning. What did I say that you are saying? No, nah, I'm not saying anything. No. What, what, what are you saying? What are you saying? What are you saying? So you think that you can flip it and then you can put me into this thing? She flips her. I was actually just going to talk about the outfits, like the gale <laughs> and the... I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm, I'm a speaker as well. <laughs> talk about, talk about the outfits better. <laughs> guy like when i was in secondary school there was this bricklayer i don't know if they called him like him from two to fix something so he wore a bada i now wore sneakers and he was on site i was like no, that's, the vibe that that's why wow. no, this was before he became swag no, like no, when i was in secondary like school no he saw the future yeah uh, no it was it wasn't a drip <laughs> it was not a drip i promise you why Chop, chop, sleep back. But I will ah. not forget OJ, Sha. Even if that no, 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 I tried to. No, 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 OJ, I'm I tried. You are very mischievous. You. And you think you can put me into this thing. I will oh, mess you up. Dela, what did I do? I, I don't know what you, you did, OJ. but you know what you what did. did. I, I was trying to help you, but... Oh, well, oh, well, oh, well. <laughs> we are moving right now into the entertainment news. And um, anonymous music responds to bad boy Tim's lawsuit. <sighs> Following the back and forth drama between Nigerian artists and record label Anonymous Music, the management has issued yet another lengthy statement denying that they had anything to do with the said viral video of bad boy teams getting arrested, thereby warning that it doesn't fear lawsuits. The statement reads, and I quote, Our attention has been brought to the fact that Oloriomi, Olorotime, Timothy, the artist, bad boy teams, Signed to Anonymous Music, the label made a publication dated the 23rd of May 2021, suggesting to the general public that his contract with the label stands terminated. 
This release is misleading and unnecessarily sensational. Regarding the alleged libelous publication, the label maintains the fact that the dispute between the label and the artist emanates from the artist diverting monies owing belonging and occurring to the label. The petition lodged by the label with the Nigerian police force disclosed criminal elements and the code. The music label ended by writing that their position still stands that anyone that deals with or continues to deal with bad boy teams without their authorization does so at their own risk. <sighs> See, all this label, label, fight, drama, it's yeah, we it we started makes a conversation me yesterday. so hired. Stressed. As in, I'm stressed on behalf, I'm not even the artist, I'm not the label, <laughs> but I'm stressed. Why? We talked about it yesterday, as we just said, and so we'll be doing back. So bad boys so to release so, it all now. Yeah, so it's 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 now back and forth because <laughs> just when we thought it was over, like we're not going to people would have learned from the yeah. artist record label thingy. Mm -hmm. Now it's happening again, and I don't think that this will <sighs> even stop anytime soon. And I don't think there is anything they would have to do to nip this in the bud in the first place. So yesterday it was Bad Boy Teams, mm -hmm. uh, you know, saying it's no longer, it's no longer under them. Yeah. They, they set him up. Blah, blah, yes, blah. and now the record label has responded. That he actually spent money that was supposed to be for the record label. They paid you money for sure. Why would you spend the money and not remit to the record label? So my so thing again is that who's that person who even deals directly with the artist when you know that there is when a record label? There, there is a proper Jonathan. way of paying. Uh, I don't know now, my guy. Okay, my guy. My guy. <laughs> I guess show. Come. So. I will give you the money based on my guy. Yeah. Then my guy is supposed to say, oh, record label, oh, dear record label. My Do guy had the right a show. Mm. I did it. So that's what they are claiming. And from Bad Boy Teams, why he walked out of the contract? Because they yeah. broke their own contract by arresting him and putting it out online. Mm. And they are that claiming that. It. Yeah. And they are claiming that the video did not come from them. Whatever you people saw online did not come from any of them. So whatever Bad Boy, is, Bad Boy Teams is saying is rubbish. And to think that it's just breaking through. Yeah. Ah, so not, not, see, you know that you know thing about they'll say uh, any uh, bad publicity is good yeah, and any publicity not, is good. Not and I'm time. saying that not every time. because okay, so this dude has done how many songs and we just knew him mm -hmm. and we're so excited about yeah. him already. Yes. One rookie we, of the year last year, the last two years at the head is we know of people who have had issues with record labels and, it's a and rap. It was it's just a rap. rap from there. <laughs> I'm telling you, this and game is over. We know of people who still struggled and still did it on yeah. their own, but yeah. there are very few. Very like, very maybe few. we just count one and two. Very and few. then the thing is, even those people, they've been in the industry for so long that they can actually stand on yeah, their own. Yeah, going back and forth. You understand? The they can actually, but you that you just courts, started, yeah. we're still trying to dinest it. And carpet, this is not even to put any fear in yeah, anyone. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying that contract. if the artist is right and yeah. there is a contract, why don't you just deal with the contract and let them talk to your lawyers mm. and get things sorted out. Yeah. And who knows? He has, yeah. he has started his own imprint, yeah. You know, he used to say, oh, shock one back on shock. So mm -hmm. his own imprint now is shock absorber. That's his music level. Well, Anyways, uh, um, and you know, another thing again is that I don't even believe that every artist should have a record label. It is just the way Nigerian uh, industry yeah, or, uh, you know, no structure and all that. It is not compulsory for you to be an artist and then have a record label. Oh, no. You can actually belong be to another record people. label and you'll do well. Yeah. <sighs> We can't, let's just leave all this now. Nice, 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 <laughs> yes, we're done with that news. Moving on, um, this one is why I left the Suicide Squad for Army of the Dead, Dave Batista. Former wrestler and Hollywood star Dave Batista has come out to speak on why he chose to work on the movie Army of the Dead and not on the Suicide Squad. According to him, scheduling conflicts was the reason why he chose to star in the Zack Snyder directed Army of the Dead. He said, and I quote, I get to build a relationship with Netflix. I get a lead role in a great film. I, I get paid a lot of money. I had to call James and I told him, it breaks my heart because as a friend, I want to be there with you. But professionally, this is a smart decision for me. As regards his character in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Guardians of the Galaxy, where he plays Drax, the wrestler actor said he believes Drax's story will come to an end with Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, stating the success of Army of the Dead could help him further, uh, further his relationship with Netflix, but it could also lead to Snyder considering him in future projects. Have you seen Army of the Dead? I haven't seen Army of the Dead, but I mean, I've definitely seen Have you seen Suicide seen, Squad? I've definitely seen Suicide okay. Squad. So when, so when I saw this news, I was having a conversation <laughs> with somebody, I first said, that's a smart move. So Suicide Squad is rubbish. Because yeah. I, was yeah. ask, I was about to say, like, Suicide Squad. Would you have him to be on the Suicide Squad?
if, if he could have done both, but since he no. said shadow, if I'll put it schedule. like this, if he didn't have anything else he was doing, he could have done. Yeah, just done it. Because okay. Suicide Squad, I'm just like okay. And it was, it was a lead, was a lead character in this one, unlike Harley Quinn. Do you understand? Harley Quinn is the, the Suicide Squad, character. literally for me. So I'm like, if you were just there, you'd just be floating. So mm -hmm, I think mm -hmm. it's a smart move. Yeah, I, I I watched it. It killed his role and. Working with, he said it uh, during the interview that working with Zack Snyder, Zack Snyder is a big producer director yeah. in America, and he may see the future like, okay, now that I've gotten it right with Army of the Dead, yes, we'll make money. So Zack Snyder can now see that I did a good job, so he'll be calling me for other yeah. of his projects. See, other I of his swear, projects. Yeah. if he was a Nigerian, he'd be an evil boy. Uh, he uh, don't I'm calculate the market. <laughs> <laughs> he don't know that Netflix go pay him. So Baba just, you know, he just shoot me across. Yeah, mm -hmm. I it, love it. And his character in uh, MCU, Gar yeah, Guardians, of, Guardians the of the Galaxy. Mm -hmm. it's, it's it wasn't, it wasn't a major, major. Yeah. Like he was the comic relief mm -hmm. type. He's supposed to be the buff. When he comes, he's so soft, soft and sweet. And <laughs> and I'm just like, this not saying much. And he yeah. has revealed a secret that probably from Volume Three, they will probably end Guardians of the Galaxy. I wouldn't miss him on Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh wow. Mm. But do you like Guardians of the Galaxy itself? Groot? No. Yeah. No, I think that's the first problem. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> like, I don't mind it because, I mean, I love Marvel. Mm -hmm. You get so. Well, I just watched it, but that guy on the Galaxy, the three Groot, the. So let's say you don't like two now. You don't like Spider Man. I don't like. No, I hate Spider Man. There's yeah. a difference. Yeah. Oh, you. I oh. hate Spider Man. Let's okay, be clear. Okay, so this one is indifferent, yeah. but, um, you know. Yeah. yeah. I just watched it because it was Marvel. All right. Um, okay. We wish him all the best. Um, yep. It's sad we'll not see guy, guys. Sharpie, boy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, we are done with the entertainment news. Right about now, it's time for celebrity birthday shout out. Love it. In alphabetical order, the first celebrant we have on our list is Jay Haas, who is 26 today. He's an English rapper, singer, and songwriter who gained popularity in, the 2015, in 2015 following the release of his song, Them Boy Pagan. And of course, he's one of those British rappers that when you want to call um, first 10, yeah, let me not say first five, mm -hmm. you will call that, yeah. yeah, you notice when they're rapping and yeah. you, you never, never hear what they're saying because it's like Cockney accent. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> say what? what? Are you sorry? <laughs> say what? I know, I know. <laughs> Happy that birthday. Mm -hmm. ah. Happy birthday, mm -hmm. JRs. Also celebrated today, ladies and gentlemen, Lauren Hill Woo! is 46. It's an award-winning American singer, songwriter, rapper, and record producer who is often regarded as one of the greatest rappers of all time, as well as being one of the most influential singers of our generation. I can hardly the believe her age. Yeah, I call her Miss Lauren Hill. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, she looks... Lauren Hill is... I don't know whether to put her under that, you know, label of uh, being underrated and all mm -hmm, that. Because mm -hmm. Lauren yes. Hill is a mm -hmm, lot, mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. a lot. I remember she working with the Fugees, the Fugees, White Claire. Yeah. See, dropped, she's an OG. Yes, OG. OG. Dropped Before this education IG. of Lauren Hill. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I think it was in a recent interview that she talked about um, she not working on another project. Because, because she was skeptical. She, she doesn't feel people yes. will. Yes. Like, so you will now sweat. The way that you will sweat to work to. on a project and you feel you've given your all. There's someone that say, hmm, track two. <laughs> so I think I really understand that, you know, especially when you're putting a lot of energy mm -hmm. and you know that you give the best mm -hmm. because yeah. you know what you're made of. Mm -hmm. And then you just don't want anybody coming and, and saying same that, rubbish. oh, what's she doing? Talking in the nonsense. Talking in nonsense. <laughs> Happy birthday, Lorraine. Also celebrating today, Lenny Kravitz is 57. Yeah, he's an American singer, songwriter, musician, record producer, and actor. His style incorporates elements of rock, blues, soul, R&B, funk, jazz, reggae, hard rock, psychedelic, pop, folk, ballads. Like, his style of music is just wide like See, that. See, when they say jack of all trades, and it in every corner. He actually doesn't even want to age. Kravitz at all. He doesn't and want does to age. And does it well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And of course, he has a daughter, Zoe Kravitz, who acts and also sings. Yeah. Crazy, crazy man. Happy birthday, Lenny Kravitz. Happy also birthday. celebrates today, Rachel Okonkwa is 34. She's a Nigerian actress popularly known as Nkoli Nwa Usuka. 
She started <laughs> acting while she was a child, but due to lack of movie roles, she switched career to dancing, but now back to acting. And of course, one of, one, one of the biggest actresses, you know that part of Nollywood that they call Asaba movies? I mm -hmm. know! There you find and you can tell me nothing. That is the biggest. That is, yes. that is, that's that know, industry like, on its what? own. Uh, on yes. it, that's, you know, you, be, you think uh, Lagos is the commercial hub of... No, uh, uh, you don't know Iweka Road. If you don't know Iweka, <laughs> you, you don't know Iweka. <laughs> You have not watched the movie. movie. <laughs> yes, happy birthday, Rachel Okonkwo. Also celebrate today, we have Scott Disick, who is 38. <laughs> the American media personality and socialite is most famous for starring as a main cast member on Keeping Up with the Kardashians and a spin-off. Then right. he has his own. <laughs> but I, what is no, Scott? No, what no, is no, Scott's let's, talent? Let's start with is first known for frustrating cut. <laughs> Uh, I used to feel like weird. strangling, in fact, not even him, the two of them, but Scott is so... I like Scott, because Scott does what Scott wants to do. Bad boy. He does what... He does not even... Cheating forget. and be he running things up and down. He, he's, we wake up today, weather says scatter everywhere, he's scatter. scatter. Actually, he's very unbothered. So I think he's the one that comes behind Kanye, actually, when it comes to, you know, you want to do what you want to do, yes. everybody can tell me anything. Yes. yes. Very controversial president. <laughs> even when you're still with Courtney. They will now hear you are with uh, Nicole, Nicole Richie. Like, like, do, don't then. you think it's supposed to be an African? From what tribe? I'm sorry. From what tribe? Uh. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, we're okay. done with celebrity birthday shout out. <laughs> and of course, happy birthday to everybody celebrating on this special day. I'm sending you love and light and peace and every beautiful thing you wish yourself. What are you sending them? Mm. Let me not go and talk too much because people send to OJ their account number. <laughs> when we say send account number, people actually send. So I'm just going to wish them happy birthday as well. But <laughs> only with this money. Yeah, with this money, money. You people, you win. I'm not at home today. Uh -uh. You don't you get. Not. Uh, do you are not around. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Up next is Rewind and Women Flash Wednesday. <laughs> Let's rewind. On this day in 1975, Rhinestone Cowboy was a single released by Glenn Campbell. It went on to win the Billboard Song of the Year. And in 2002, Eminem releases his fourth studio album, The Eminem Show. I'm sorry, mama. Finally, in 2004, at the 39th Academy of Country Music Awards, Toby Keith and Martina McBride win. And that's it on Rewind. It's Woman Crush Wednesday, and today we're crushing on Regina Renee King. She's an American actress and director and the recipient of several awards, including an Academy Award, a Golden Globe Award, and four acting primetime Emmy Awards, the most for an African-American performer. In fact, in 2019, Time magazine named her one of the 100 most influential people in the world. King first gained attention for a role in the television series 227 from 1985 to 1990. Then she rose to prominence with roles in the films Friday, Jerry Maguire and the crime television series Southland. Now why isn't anybody doing anything about the backlog of DNA? 3,000 cases and not a single article has been written? King has also played supporting roles in the films Boys in the Hood, Poetic Justice, Legally Blonde 2, Ray, and Miss Congeniality 2. Okay, look. I don't work for you. You don't work for me. We're a team, get it? As in, I will kick your sorry if you don't listen to me, team. King has directed episodes for several television shows, including Scandal in 2015 and 2016, and This Is Us in 2017. She also directed the music video for the 2010 song Finding My Way Back by Jaheim. Her feature film directorial debut came with the drama One Night in Miami in 2020, in which she has been nominated for Golden Globe Award for Best Director at the 78th Golden Globe Awards. She became the second black woman to be nominated for Golden Globe Award for Best Director since 2015. Now here are five things you do not know about the beautiful Regina King. People are already saying things. Stop reading that. What, it's been online, what, two minutes and people are already talking? I... King studied under acting coach and actress Betty A. Bridges, mother of actor Todd Bridges. She was Regina's acting coach for 10 years. 
Regina was a bridesmaid in the wedding of actress Vivica A. Fox. Both she and her sister Raina King's first names are translations of the word queen. Regina's is Latin and Raina King is Spanish. So that means that both sisters are essentially named Queen King. King attended the University of Southern California. At one time, Regina King aspired to be a dentist. Good morning. Terry. Good morning, Tom. All this and more are reasons we love the sophisticated, focused, and elegant Regina Renee King, and that is why she is our woman crush today. Regina King. She is gorgeous. Aww. You know what they say? Black don't crack. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> she's, 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 right she's one of them. Yeah, one that's one right. Them. Never, never forget her character from Boondocks. Like, she voiced a male, a male character. I know. I and mean, who not even just that? a male, a child. A, a child. Yeah, a child. Who does a terrible that? child, by the way. <laughs> Love, love, love. <laughs> All right, moving on. The Nigerian music industry is filled with so many talented individuals, but what is worth mentioning is that some of these individuals are blood-related. Like the saying goes, blood is thicker than water, and these siblings have been able to excel in their respective music careers without any form of rivalry. Except P-square, though. <laughs> <laughs> Today, let's find out which of your favorite Nigerian musicians have a Musical sibling, this is Daily Top 5. First on our list, we have Don Jazzy and The Prince. Don Jazzy is the elder brother to The Prince, and these brothers have gone from having a label boss slash music producer and artist relationship to now being music executives. Aside from Don Jazzy being the boss of Maven Records, The Prince also runs his own record label in Prince Jonesing World, which is an affiliate of Maven Records. Jones in World has acts such as Rema and Ruga on its roster. Yeah. And this one is no surprise. Everybody knows now. Some people don't know. That, that Don Jazzy and the Prince are. Some people, some people. How? Uh, some people will not know. Okay, maybe the people that they just gave birth to, like. Yeah. Some people Gen will actually not know that there's uh, the Prince. Really? If you, want, if you want to think about this. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. If you want to think about this, and some people will not know that there's uh, the Prince when more hits was more hits. That maybe, no. You know. Maybe, uh, so there's a the prince that I, runs I, there's a the prince that runs Josen World that is this yes. boss of Rema yeah. and Ruga yeah. and Josen World is under Maven Records, Don Jazzy Record Label and their brothers. Okay, maybe because we, we were actually there. <laughs> we were there. <laughs> we were there. So, so not the same way because somebody is now going, going to be looking at me in a way. If you like, look at me in a way. Maybe I'm your auntie. <laughs> but the thing is that, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah. It's like, it's like, I feel like the first thing we ever knew about the prince it's, was yeah. that the prince is Don Jazz. Don yes. brother. And there was case switch on yes. Mohit that it was so, the yes. brother the band, So yeah. maybe now, maybe mm. people that are just... Gen uh, uh, Okay. Yeah. <laughs> And the crazy thing about Don Jazzy and, and the Prince, yeah. uh, Don Jazzy uses his father's son name, while the Prince uses, uses his father's first name as his son name. So there are people yeah. like that, yeah. actually. <laughs> there are people Amazing. like that. It depends on the one that is dripping. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Another <laughs> musical sibling we have on our list, we have <laughs> DJ Copy and Tolani. Yes, Nigerian billionaire businessman Femi Otodola has not just one but two of his children involved in music. There's the DJ and artist DJ Copy, and then there's the R&B singer-songwriter Tolani. Both sisters are doing good respectively in their chosen line of entertainment, while another of their sisters, Temi Otodola, is a fashionista and also an actress. So wait, wait, wait. Right. She's also involved in music, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Temi San... No, uh, yeah, yeah. She's yeah. involved in music, <laughs> if you know she, what I mean. She's involved Involved in music because she's Mr. Izzy's girlfriend. Yeah, Mr. Izzy's involved in music. So somehow they are all involved in music. You know, yeah, they are business people. Yeah. All right, so I particularly like these people. Mm -hmm. I like their vibe, yes. especially when they are celebrating their birthdays. Oh mm -hmm. my gosh, they can be so sweet. Mm -hmm. I like Allah. that Tolani is very different from Copy. Yes. Copy <laughs> is very different from Tolani. True. So Tolani is that person who does her own thing mm -hmm. and yes. she does it well. Mm -hmm. She's not the loud type, yeah. but mm -hmm. then you'll feel her because she knows her onions. Yeah. 
yeah. yes. and then copy is that person who comes and every time I'm people, a Twitter. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm ginger. not that's not fun again. I'm a man you fan, no. Ginger, ginger, ginger. I absolutely love that family. Mm -hmm. All right, next up, siblings that you might not have known who are in music. Burner Boy and Nisi Ogulu. This one might come as a shocker, and yes, you heard it right. Burner Boy also has a sister in the music industry called Nisi. Her music encompasses a nice spectrum of sound as she blends both African and European influences. Burner Boy also has another sibling in the entertainment industry, Ronami Ogulu, who styles him for public appearances while their mom, Bosse Ogulu, manages all their business affairs. So one this thing is about like the this Jackson one is that, Five. Yes. <laughs> so one thing about this family is if you followed them closely, mm -hmm. you would know that, you know, Burner Boy has a sister that sings. Burner Boy has a sister that styles. Yes. Burner Boy has a mother that manages mm -hmm. because. <laughs> They go. They, they do a family thing, yeah. and you would probably have seen Bonner Boy's father too in yeah. one of the. Yes, <laughs> they're the so other. close. See, it's people say um, Chris Jenner works hard, but Bonner Boy, Bosse See, shout out today is Woman Crush Wednesday, That's right? right? That's my Woman Crush for today. Mm. See, for you to have a Grammy Award winning yeah. son and your yeah. manager, yeah. Mm. Are, we mm -hmm. are we joking? Very hard woman. Are we joking? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, another musical sibling we have on the list we have Olamide and DJ Any Money. The other DJs makes this list of musical siblings in Nigeria. Many might not know that the relationship between rapper Olamide and DJ Any Money is way beyond label boss and official label mm -hmm. DJ. The YBNL boss is, however, the oldest, and they have both worked on several songs together as artists. That's Unlike right. Some we've not seen them work together. Yeah. DJ Copy and <laughs> Tolani. I'm not gonna call names. But, uh, I'm not naming Nisi names. and Burna Boy, no. Yeah, well, uh, in future, we'll see. But perhaps, yeah, in future. Uh, but, but Olamide and, and DJ, DJ Money, Money. they've worked on something. Yes. They, they will have one that is popping right and, now. And I like that, that the they have coming hits, out soon. like personal hits. Yes, uh -huh. yes, yes. Amazing. Amazing. And, if no, and if nobody tells you that they're siblings, you mm, might not know. Because they DJ, don't even, DJ, they don't even DJ, look DJ. alike. <laughs> they're a bit like that. They don't look alike. Okay, I'm sometimes, like... when you look, now look at them, you now see maybe one feature. You now see, you like, look closer. Like, oh, I see it. Yeah. I see it. It can be the nose, it can be the mouth, or how they talk. Yeah, I've not seen it yet, child. What's there is there. If you look, if you look closer. <laughs> Chill then. Yeah. All right, so another set of siblings who actually don't look alike, but are both in the music industry, Niniola and Eniola. This list will not be complete without talking about these two. Both daughters of late Nigerian business tycoon, Chief Akwata, Niniola and Tenny have been able to carve a niche for themselves in the Nigerian music industry. They have both been consistent in dropping banging songs as individuals, while the sisters are yet to have a collaboration. Wow! You see, you're gonna have two more different wow. looking siblings. So she's doing what? Banana, banana. Then uh, Tenny's doing. Man, man, man. Like, <laughs> I really, I, I'm really, I'm really rooting oh for a collaboration with Tenny and Niniola. Yeah, I think way. you'll be, I think you'll be mad. What I, take I God really and looking Nini forward with to you. that. Uh, but I think uh, one time I interviewed Nini and what she said was that, you know, maybe they just want to be, okay, yeah, she's my Have sister. Have a niche but, for yourself. Um, yeah. yeah. Don't, but it don't, let it them don't, just know you as Tenny. Let them know you as it Nini. Don't, it don't reach. We know, we know Tenny as Tenny. We know Nini, we know Nini, Nini as Nini. As Nini. Well. You can just uh, but the, thing, the, the very good thing is that they are doing fantastically yes, well. Yes, yeah. yes, which, which is amazing. And I like that you can't even compare the two of them. It's mm -hmm. never that case of where you say, is Tenny better than Nini? No. Is Nini better People than Tenny? To try it. Yeah, you can't. And I was like, no. what are you talking you about? Two different styles, dressing, music-wise, makeup, everything. Like, Especially not... when Tenny came out and she was uh, the river of the moment, and people yeah. be like, "Hey, but her sister, I, I will just stop that, stop that, stop that, stop that." All right, yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are done with Daily Top Five. We'll be back to check out some of the craziness happening on social media on Switchville. Let's go. Welcome, welcome, welcome back, everyone. It is that part of the show that <laughs> violence is the order of the day. <laughs> For a few minutes, we'll be experiencing social media violence, so please wear your helmet because... <laughs> it might be you. It might be, if it be you all, it's going to be a deadly day. Yeah. <laughs> all right, very first tweet today from Nani. It says, football is very funny. You hear a guy... <laughs> Oja is on this table, you know. You hear a guy without food at home saying, 
We bought Fernandez at 17 million euros. OJ, <laughs> you know the crazy thing is that I still had a conversation with only first PA yesterday. Our market. Arsenal fan. He said, no, I don't, I go buy five players. Let's see. see. How market? Market, OJ. Is, market is doing fine. You see, OJ, whenever I shop, <laughs> what they say? <laughs> is the one about shop for me? Every, 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 for me. Every, every, football, every, 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 every football fan does this, and it's always weird. We say, no, no, for my house, for 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 my house, for See, my stadium. It's like, it's like, like when, when I just said, you know, we're resting the players. <laughs> for, remember, like, who are we? <laughs> who are comes, we? Comes at me, I know they say, oh, is it because we? I'm like, who are we? See. Yeah. Even the <laughs> oh, uh, king that said he wants to buy. <laughs> oh, let's, let's keep it moving, guys. We have a lot today. <laughs> so, Clean Quarty Bella says, when everyone else is congratulating you publicly, pay attention to those who do it privately. Hmm. Skinny Ledger now said, instead of just celebrating your win, you're busy playing constable of congratulations. Wow. It's very wow. true. Because which one is... Yeah, pay attention to people who are doing it privately. People are petty. It's like birthday now. Some people will say, it's who wish me happy birthday, I wish oh, happy yeah. birthday. So whenever it's person birthday, you're not, they're not going to check chat whether the person said happy birthday. So it's just oh, a, uh, it's a pettiness. That's... What if that person was actually offline, did not know that it's your birthday, or that person was down with an ailment, or like, it's the constable for me. Yeah, like, constable of congratulations. I mean, why do they monitor private and public? How petty can someone be? Uh, Human beings. Yeah. Human beings. Moving on. Grace <laughs> says, How can I request bolts and the Sienna that is coming? Am I going to a uh -uh. So I saw this. And this is this is this the day I saw this. Yeah. I know some another person said that. Oh, your own is even better, Sienna. The one that came was the one that they used to carry ambulance and, and the ambulance that they used to carry cops to. So somebody now said, another person uh, 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 in the comment section, that, what do you mean? Are they not cars? Is it not in Nigeria that they use them for? And just a day after that day, <laughs> I requested Uber. And you received. <laughs> what came? You received. There's one car that I don't know the name. <laughs> that even when I got to where I was going, the person came to check the name of the auto no. device. Like, <laughs> I will cancel trip. I have time. I, I sat with uh, the driver. Uh, 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 you, I will cancel trip. I have time. If it was a Bugatti that came, you would say, uh uh. No, because when they started this thing, we did not have. The select like, cars. Yeah, yeah, we did not yes. have these arrangements that they will be bringing. <laughs> Arrangements. But, 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 but what kind of rude thing is this? Am I, I going, going to Ekiti? Let's leave it for the Ekiti people, Is that please. what they used to try? Okay, yeah, let's move on. All right, so next one. Um, it says, I post me and Bay for status. You carry and go post, say, my couple goes. You know how many people I block before I post them? This person and has I learn to the mind your business. It's true. So apparently, you know that Instagram has, like, a close friends thing? Yeah. Mm. Does it? Yeah. Yeah. Because I noticed one girl was always telling me, in me and her boyfriend, when they are teasing, when they are... And I'm like, so what's this girl's is, problem? Why are you posting it on the whole TV? Then my eyes saw that in close friends. So apparently so only we... Yeah, yeah, can see, see. Yeah, that's right. And this this one goes to shout couple girls. He said, mind you, now look at the girl. Like, you don't even know what I am doing. Why <laughs> are you my like mind. this? <laughs> oh, bear, you are too forward. It's human beings. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Gozie says... Now, I understand some actions of our parents, to be honest. At mm. this stage, if I pay someone's school fees and the mm. person comes back with last position, one of us go wrong mad. Only for, only, only for steps into this conversation. <laughs> it was only for coming last. No, okay. Okay. Well, you know uh, you is know, that something you know, I don't know? They think that this is what I can do. Uh -uh. But this is what I can do because this yes. is what my father did it to me. <laughs> Let me tell you something. <laughs> uh, I don't know mathematics. So, <laughs> after all the stress of my father getting me private teachers, I know still pass my mathematics. The day I should have that they brought my results. My father did not tell me anything. He was busy cleaning the house, doing cleaning. <laughs> when my mother now arrived at night, my mother just said, your child has killed so me. dramatic. I said. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, me, I was so, on so, the same table, Shaz. Yeah, so we. So, we, yes, I'm on this so, table. So, you, you, like you run it. Like, yes, we are running it together. Let's <laughs> not waste my school fees. Thanks and God bless. All right, so, oh, Cobbs. Stop it. Yes, Cobbs stop. says crypto holders in stop, April. Stop, stop. Versus stop, stop. crypto stop. holders in May. Stop, stop. It's getting better. It's getting better. It's, it's, rise, it's rising. It's you rising. You know when somebody has pride in Beraga? <laughs> Uh, and they now said that I think pride goes before what? A, 
Nothing. You know what? I think even this, uh, even this one, I think Zona is to pour water on that gym is sliding. Yeah. You know what they call that thing? I don't know. Start. You'll be pouring water on the thing. You see them yes. to be sliding the, the off. on the oh, elbow that yeah. doesn't, doesn't penetrate. What? what? But, but their crypto holders is yeah. rising. It's rising. Don't worry. The first be with By you. By June, you will go back to being proud. And you know what? I hope I so. Don't get talking to you. He's talking to himself. Stop, stop, stop. OJ, let me help you. It's rising, it's rising. Let me help you move on because, <laughs> all right, so Octel Stan account says one day Ludacris is going to go crazy and collect his royalties from Baba Shops worldwide. I yes, agree. I agree. Luda, and he's not the only one. Ludacris. He's not the only one. It's not the only one. I agree. 50 cents to you, come before. 50 cents no, used to be. 50 cents used to rain before. Yeah, uh, before. But that Ludacris is on. Banky W for skin. For... They don't really put him. You know this Ludacris? Literally Luda every barber everywhere. shop you go it's to. Ludacris. 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 They print out this picture. They're big. Like, now we call the cut. Especially when now they we come to him. Nigeria. <laughs> when I said, oh, I'm moving for the salon. I said, we should even send him pictures. I was like, guy, you're trending in our country. <laughs> right, so his, his excellency says, we are lucky COVID happened in 2020. Imagine this happened in 2003. Mm. Once with a Nokia 3310. Mm. Mm. No, you know what? Mm. What you don't know mm. cannot kill you. That time to you are just mm. you will just be playing. Uh, no bottom. No, you don't get. See, it's, it's before that. No, let me say because see, it is because you have already known. What you don't know cannot kill you. How did you survive when it was only Suwe and Kenny that were playing? So, so that time we could come out, but this COVID, that beginning, don't we could worry. not come out. Don't worry. We will look for a way. Don't worry. Uh, uh, you There's no Netflix and chill. I said that. If we don't worry. No, don't, don't mind. Only see, only yeah, see, like that. See, only yeah. like staying in loop. Like, only <laughs> <pot> is okay. <laughs> okay, okay. That's it's my, why. It's and only yeah. That's why. We like, we like our... Because I was about time. to drag you. <laughs> yes, but I like my alone time as well. But I'm just like... 33, 10 plays. Do you not need to play the same game every day? So Locked in your house. You'll be beating your Beats. record. You'll be beating your record. See, oh, dear, nine. We you'll can't. You know you can finish that snake, Sha. You start again. You say, let me, let me refresh this thing and see if I can okay. beat my previous... Maybe that's... See, when we came out and everybody came out and somebody was asking me, hey, ah, so how, how did, did you, you survive? survive? I was like... I love this. Why are you talking? <laughs> OJ and I, we had the same thoughts. When we came out, and we're like, oh, people will not be sharing the roads with us. We and love this. <laughs> we love this. I, so I think I didn't get worried about being at home till maybe like the last two weeks yeah. when they now released us. Because I was like, okay, is it this thing starting to get long? Like, yeah. I know I've been home for like... <laughs> And I remember really that like I ran into you at a party, and that I was like, ha, ah, it's good, all the ones that we did not do, before they even said that we should go back home. Let's, all... <laughs> Let's turn it <laughs> up. <laughs> all right, thank you very much, Dala. Ladies and gentlemen, we are officially done with the first half of the show. The second half will kick off shortly, where we'll be giving you the very best of Nigerian songs on this week's East Clash Top 10 Countdown. You know get the rival, yeah. You know get the be beans, be... Yes, yes, y'all. Welcome back to the show. And of course, in case you're just tuning in, you're watching a splash. It's the second half of the show. Yes, and Sally, I'm in the building. Goddess of Skills is in the building. And of course, uh, it's on a cloth already. <laughs> On each morning, I'm in the building. He's in the building. Whatever. <laughs> Get over for yourself, Hater. Hater. Did it's I not, just, it, see, the yes. way I'm always in the middle of this crossfire, sometimes it's like, you, you understand, I don't make blood pop up yeah. for you. No go, no go. <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's now time to chew it up. One of us is about to rant about what's Prezi bugging, huh? Because I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Why are you looking at me? What's the problem? I'm, I'm good. You have no sense cut check with eyelashes. Yeah. <laughs> They're okay. me. I'm going to rant today. What's the problem? It's a very saddish type of topic, but okay. so just, you understand? I feel like a lot of parents don't prepare their children for their death. Let me explain. I feel like people feel like if you talk about it, it suddenly happen. That's not the case. Africa. Africa, yeah, to be specific. Because I know at Kardashians, there was this episode where um, they actually went to pick out where they wanted to be buried and all that. It was... Mildly weird, but you get preparation. So is this thing where you have children, you never talk about what you want when you're gone, and then you leave your children to figure everything out. They don't know where to start from. Mm. I feel like, okay, for instance, now like my mom, we have a book where she's written everything, her account numbers, the pins, um, stuff that she's supposed to be paying off, and all that. Everything is there. 
So it's not that thing where the parent dies, then you're running up and down, then you're trying one to... One uncle from so the One uncle is somebody's... See, the list of the contacts <laughs> of the people that we... That are important. To, to the people, that anybody outside that list, I can't listen to you. Mm. So, like, you need to actually, I feel like, prepare your children for your mm. death. Mm. It's not something you want to talk about, but guess what? If we're talking about life, you can't but talk about mm. it. Mm. Do you get? Um, it, it, it beats them going to go and do affidavits before they can enter your account yeah, and bank has probably yeah. already Locked then all the that. see your child has your pin to your account anything happens <laughs> they know that okay they can take out money from here they can do this it's so bad my dad and my mom they're tired of me <laughs> i'll say hey, mommy which color of coffee do you want you must like you you because you have my account number now nah. i said if you dare i off you <laughs> so it's something we've joked about i made it so comfortable to the point that I know the color of coffee my mom wants. I know, mm. I know where they want to be buried. Mm. So it's not that thing of, uh, should we bury it in Lagos? Should we bury it? All those. So it takes away all that stress. And literally, the only family thing you meeting, ever have to deal with is the burial itself. Yeah. Mm, this is, this is weird, Liz. Uh, yeah. So it is one thing I've talked about before. And when I talk about this, especially to OG and Faladili, they feel a kind of way. Uh, yeah. Last week, I was here talking about near-death experience. And it mm -hmm. is one thing that I've talked about too before mm -hmm. with them. And they're like, ah. Onipot, what does she think? And all that. <laughs> and I've had it on a radio show before yeah. because actually I wanted to help people know that it is not really good to bury people in the house. Like it's not healthy. Yes. Uh, you know, because you might have like um, a pure water factory or water factory somewhere. You might have well where people, you know, mm -hmm. that use Big, the well people Big use well. for uh, stuff mm -hmm. and it could just be so bad for their health yeah. or contaminated at the end of the day. Uh, so, you know. At first, when I presented it on the show, on, on, on radio, it was as if, but then people warmed up to it and they started talking yeah. and they started, you know, because it is inevitable. It is mm -hmm. something that will happen at the end of yep. the day. And another topic I've spoken about on radio again, because mm -hmm. I see that there are so many things you can drop from yeah. what you've talked about, is will. So now, Africans, <laughs> we are not, we are alien to, uh, you know, Creating your own will and all that, and that is why you have people have problems when Somebody they will just come the, and say, the children will be having oh, problems and all and that. The uncle to the sister of the bereaved. And it is such a big deal that even the wife cannot talk to the husband or the husband talks to the and yeah. it will be like, oh, you want me dead because you want so 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 and all that because yeah. we are Africans and all that and we just don't face what is you know, real. And uh, I, I think it's just so valid. I think people should talk about these things because, of course, nobody wants to be dead. We want mm -hmm. to live long. But then again, people die every day. And yeah. it is what will happen to everybody. Nobody is going to mm -hmm. live this life alive. Mm. I think life alive. Mm. <laughs> Honey, mm. Paul, with the lyrics. Honey, Paul, leave me, leave me. Lyrics. <laughs> Leave me. Don't don't leave me, don't leave me. Uh, but leave me, leave me. But, but this I mean, one, yeah. I mean, yeah. here's the truth. Yeah. I, mean, it's, it's, this, I feel like Nigerian parents just feel like, if you just say, ah, why you die? Ah, we not die in Jesus' name. Yeah. No, that's not the most pressing issue at yeah. hand. When you actually die, don't mm -hmm. let your children have to go through that trauma of, somebody not come and say, your daddy needs to, your dad, no, everything I need to do, I know. Uh, especially when you have more than one wife. A See, wife. I saw my friend there. Uh, one of my friends, it was when his dad died that he realized that the woman that they called their auntie something something was the father's other wife. Ah. And then she now came and started saying that, oh, Give she married the father. Oh. So the, then the whole thing escalated, like it blew up. So People have a lot job. of secrets, actually. Yeah. If you know you have extra this thing, just where well, you know it's just write it somewhere, it somewhere. print somewhere that. Alrighty, I will prisoner. be going back to my seat as well. <laughs> this 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 rant is is more than a rant. It's yeah. like a food for thought. So yeah. Of course, of course. Think I think everybody should it. think about it. Yeah. It is not only when you are. I think everybody should just uh, think about prepare. it and be prepared. Mm -hmm. prepare. Yeah, that's the word. Be prepared. Yeah. All right. Be prepared, oh, and uh, live every day as if it is your, your last. last. Because of course. We pray for long life, yes. but of course. Hmm. Or, 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 okay, I want, I want to speak of Yoruba one or a one thing, one thing. Somebody will translate it. You want to say it's different. Or, 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 No, it's not Odu, or, or deep, like or deep. Or, 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 Bangkok B. Okay, there, there oh, you wow, have. That's a new one, or, Bangkok B. <laughs> and you must, you must do your attitude. All right, yeah. you must do your hand no, like this. Oh, bang, yeah, bang, because bang. you know, because it is your right, your right is very expressive. So yeah. you cannot just say, All right, bang, call me. All right, yeah. Ah, it's oh, the answer. Lori, it's the answer. Lori, it's the answer.
Okay, for uh, Bangkok Bang 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 In case you missed it, <laughs> yeah, it's what we talk about in today's heroine. <laughs> Let's go, right, right. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Anonymous <laughs> music response to bad boy Tim's lawsuit. And of course, we talked about this one. Dave Batista is talking about why he <laughs> left the Suicide Squad for the Army of the Dead movie. <laughs> you can take for now and after this time out it will be time to check out the biggest songs in the country in a list of 10 uh, to 1 of this week East East Flash top 10, 10 comes up oh God, hey. top 10. Dear Barry Papa, one of my young sons and Maya, aka <laughs> Papi Chulo, and now he wants you to call him the Don Dada. Dada. Yes, amazing one, ladies and gentlemen. It's about that time when we drop it like it's hot, giving you the very best of Nigerian songs on this week's East Flash Top 10 Countdown. Yes, our number 10 song for this week was actually number 9 last week, so he's dropping one spot. We have DJ KY's featuring Fino on this one titled Highway. And of course, the song is gradually leaving the countdown. And I'm super excited for Fino right now because Fino just posted on his Twitter page that he's set to drop his fourth album. That's yes. all right. F F Fino has had a good year so far. This massive collaboration with DJ K Wise. He has a massive collaboration with Mastercraft. And of course, I'm looking forward to this one. Yes, he has dropped um, Playmaker in 2014. Mm -hmm. That same 2014, it dropped No Gods, No Glory, which is one of my favorite albums from Fino. It had Alabama, there were a lot of Man of Fire, amazing song. Then dropped Deal With It last year, and right now, the fourth album. Are you looking forward to this one? See, uh, you see, Fino this, you, see this, you see this Fino thing, yeah? <laughs> I like when I don't understand the language and the song is so is it good that it makes me want to learn it. Yeah. Like, Highway, I know nothing they said <laughs> except... I will. I will. <laughs> but it's a jam. <laughs> and because of that, I want to learn Ibo, if I can. Of course, just, he, just Ibo is a just sweet. Just Ibo boy. Oh, sweet Ibo. All right, sweet Ibo boys. In, 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 don't send me DM. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, number 10, DJ KY's featuring Fino, Highway. And of course, listen to those sweet Ibo lyrics on this one. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, if chop mouth was a person, OJ is just giving us the OJ was trying to do the nothing. So I was just waiting for that because I knew he said one on D. So I was just waiting for that part. One on D. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> love it, love it. You know when they say that music is mm -hmm. a universal language, mm -hmm. and well, that is it. There you have mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. And moving safely to number nine. At number nine, we have this person that you know what? For that person's sight, it is just Christmas every day. Whether it's in January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. Finish and <laughs> Hey. And number nine, we have this one that is actually blazing red hot. Mm -hmm. And uh, right now on YouTube, it has 2.1 million views. Hallelujah. I am talking about Hallelujah. <laughs> 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 oh, Mastercraft, <laughs> Bella Swada, and I'm of course, Zlatan. Zlatan on that one. Mm -hmm. And you know that, of course, as always, Bella Shmoda had that breakthrough yeah. and mm -hmm. it just went so hard on mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. Zlatan, uh -uh, he brought all the support Vibes are <laughs> to that song, as you know. <laughs> all right, so ladies and gentlemen, at mm -hmm. number nine this week on our Top 10 Countdown, we've got Hallelujah! Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, if you don't have this song on your playlist, see, this is why we're literally here for you to yes, let sir. you know the songs. You should just gather, and be, create a playlist, and be giving us that's right. That's right. Two back. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. At number eight, we have a song which was actually number ten on last week's playlist. If you're paying attention, you already know what it is. <laughs> if you're not paying attention, don't worry. I'm yeah. still going to tell you because we are nice on this show. Yeah. Um, we actually have a song that is. Doing over 1.5 million views Damn. on YouTube. Damn. It was uh, directed by T.G. Omori, mm -hmm. who's an amazing video director. Mm -hmm. And of course, it was produced by Andy. Mm -hmm. This is Check and Fireboy DML with History. Mm -hmm. e. hey. mm -hmm. Yeah. 
yes, yes, yes. Amazing, amazing song. I like how they style them for the video. Like, mm -hmm. it looked like a proper Yankee type vibe. I regret talking about this last week. <laughs> but, but you know, See, I... because that's it. Yeah, that's true. it. And then the fact that they shot it in hard rock. When I first saw the video, I did not know. Mm -hmm. I was like, was, uh -uh. Uh -uh, which foreign vibe is this? I just said, See, it's Emilia looking for me. I know this place. I know this place. I was like, I know. Is this so not like, hard rock? So is this not hard rock? Yeah, I didn't know. Like, the production is so good. And then it's all the story of like two boys that used to bully and all that. And then, so it's like a brotherhood type thing. Yeah. It was amazing. And number Love. eight, we have Check Out Fireboy DFF with History. I won't fall no more. I'm still standing my ground. With all these bumps around me. I did my only money in my mind. I love the sounds, mm -hmm. like the extra sounds that they kept in that song. I, 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 I like, love, I like love, the song love. from Czech. I love Czech's vibe. And mm -hmm. of course, it's yeah. signed to Finnish record label. Penthouse. 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 Yes, sir. Welcome back to the show. <laughs> Our number seven song on the countdown. This week, we have Timmy Dakolo with this prayerful song, Everything uh, Man. Yes, Timmy Dakolo took to Twitter to post a picture, to post something that is joy is full that mm -hmm. he just walked on his son, like he was just walking and he saw his son was just combing his hair and his son was hitting some mad notes that, ah, ah. Mm -hmm. so my son, aside from knowing how to play football, that his son is always giving information that, oh, why should Asna be playing so, so, yeah. <laughs> Are you all right? Uh, yeah. Are you sure that's yeah. what the song said? Yeah, that's what the song, the song made oh, mention of. He made Chelsea mention of some, no, you know, he made mention of some Arsenal <laughs> players. Just, uh, yeah. <laughs> so he talked about how his son is good with yeah. football and of course beating him on PS5. And of course and now that his son can it. sing. So are you looking forward to a Timmy Dakolo song? Oh, see Get into the music industry. See yeah, the fact that that gene. It's supposed to be. Fast tag. Timmy Dakolo's voice is too strong. Yeah. To wow. not pass, not, to not pass something. Uh, that's right, that's right. Well, you know, uh, we're gonna check out the video yes, after sir. this break. So yeah. don't go anywhere. We are still on our countdown. Yay! Why they sing? So, why they sing that to people? <laughs> Me, sir. Go. So, Timmy, that boss is watching. Understands your problem. Yeah. That's yeah. Nigerians. They have a certain and they just goes in like that. They will and pray you with just you. Just accept. Amen. Hey, You'll man. be your third or last friend. Hey, Amen. Amen. <laughs> I still feel like Great Nation should have, should be like a new national anthem. It gives because me such no a there is no such a patriotic. Yeah, Timmy Dakolo has the political song. That's the national anthem. Yeah. Great Nation has wedding wedding song wedding for songs. days. I sent my brother and strategically positioned himself. No, he has given people. It should be like prayer. <laughs> yeah, take this one and be praying. I like him because he knows that it's not like uh, last time that we did best uh, and uh, so he just yeah. looks for that thing that uh, every uh, time uh, uh, he just uh, cushion. I would like to. I would like, I would like to see that color as last time. What? This amen. Everybody go amen. Is that how I just go? Amen. No, you don't need. Uh, uh, Timmy Nakolo say, Amen. Amen. Hey, what is his name? That's how he said, Give them. I started, Give them. You people don't shoot nonsense. Oh, oh my God. It goes sweet. It goes sweet. It goes nice. Now, let us move away from that side. <laughs> So I don't know what has been happening between Mr. Pamela Ring and uh, Peruzzi. It's like they've been I'm very... Again. No, so <laughs> look at this one. Let's not call it a fight. It was so a slap. So Ring has okay, been yeah, yeah. hitting the gym these days. Oh, so uh, he's looking for that revenge body and oh, all no. that. And people have been saying, hailing him. Ah! Peruzzi will feel it. And they have been <laughs> taking it back to... So it's all a joke and all that. So yeah. Peruzzi has said that... <laughs> These people that are pushing you, <laughs> Mr. Fuck me. It's bad. In, in case you guys are wondering, so Peruzzi trended one time yes. that he slapped, he slapped um, a social Pamela. media influencer yes. named Pamela. Pamela. Yeah, so that's where the story came from. I think they are cool now. They are okay. And I think they I are don't cool. Like they because are. I don't even know how I started calling him Mr. Pamela. I think it was Mr. Pamela. It's Peruzzi, that. It's Peruzzi that said Mr. Pamela. Mr. Pamela. Mr. Pamela. Mr. Pamela. You have slapped somebody here. Yeah, they are cool. Mr. Pamela. They are cool now, but so forget okay. it. Forget it's okay. It's okay. So this one and number six. Ah! 
It is sweet. See, my body is my personal song. Like, I really, really like it. I love mm -hmm. it. And this is Peruzzi featuring the DMW boss, Obio, in case you do not know. Let him know. He choke. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this one is somebody, baby. Oh, check hey. it out. Check it out. <laughs> and if I am, you the laugh. Somebody's baby, you. I want to be somebody, baby, but disgrace of Lagos boys will not allow me to be somebody, so not, baby. Do, so do not, don't do Lagos boys. Darling, do you have some foreign connects for me? Which country do you want? Uh, no. Russia. I'll give you petrol. Uh, I'll give you petrol. Yeah. And I was like, that guy in that movie that press, yeah. car, you know, yeah. the engine stops. Extra. That I'll, kind I'll of I'll give you all okay, uh, They're very general. Do yeah. you know the state of mind of OJ? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, that is true. I, I, I have, I have that good friends. That is very friends. true. I have good friends, don't worry. Okay, let's move on. All <laughs> right. <laughs> So at the number five spot, this song was actually at the number spot, five spot last week as mm -hmm. well. Um, so it is a song that was produced by Fields. Um, it was mixed and mastered by Mila Mix. Mm -hmm. And it was shot by the uh, very amazing and very handsome. See, so you people know that's me. Uh, I, used have, I used to have quick... Uh, uh, he's, he's, he's a nice damn looking... He's a nice looking... Why do I person boyfriend? Damn it, Switch is a nice looking... Uh, somebody's boyfriend. Okay, somebody's, bo somebody's baby. Yeah. Okay. No problem. <laughs> All right, on number five, we have Tenny featuring Davido for you. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. OJ! 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 OJ, boss, please look at OJ. Is there a girl you told to watch the show today that you are going to oh, be passing across some? Because, because this energy. Hey, go for it. What? Okay, is it your mom? Is my mom? Is my mom? It's like OJ has one babe. Eighteen twenty-five. It's what are you talking? I see OJ confirm. <laughs> OJ was giving up. I think maybe there's one girl is performing for in particular. So if you are there, my ego, do I have? It's for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Gigi. Le le let's Darling. Move, let's move on. Massive collaboration Darling. right there. Uh, Tenny, of course, David will right. wait for you. Our number four song this week on the Inspiration Top 10 countdown was actually number seven last week, so he's jumping three spots. And this is a massive collaboration also. It's featuring, this is Kiss Daniel featuring Phil Kiss, Necessary. I love what is happening right now in the Nigerian music industry where mm -hmm. uh, produ like we see producers owning their songs now. We've talked about Mastercraft. That's right. We've talked about Mastercraft mm -hmm. and other producers, what DJ Khaled does there. Yeah. So this is Kiss Daniel featuring Phil Kiss. And of course, he can also sing. And Phil Kiss has been working with a couple of artists. He has worked with Omao Me, worked with Yemi Alade. Yeah. And of course, he was signed under Flyboy Entertainment. I don't know if he's still officially signed under Kiss Daniel, but this song is amazing. Number four, Kiss Daniel featuring Phil Kiss, necessary, but after this break. Let's go. So that she will know that fine, baby, your body is a necessary, but yeah, well, our, our right, so don't be thinking wow. one thing, one thing. Small we, drip, you drip this week. Small, no, yeah, no drip, day. drip, drip all day, every day. <laughs> Never to be caught on fresh. So, you know, one thing I really, really <laughs> like about this uh, video, like, you mm -hmm. know, telling everybody, and you see people posting it and using it to mm -hmm. do different things, yeah, like, yeah. you know, what you're yeah. beautiful just the way you are. Mm -hmm. yes. It might not be like outright mm -hmm. that message mm -hmm. like that, but you see, your body is banging no matter mm -hmm. how it looks, fat. Thin, slim, tall, short. Why do you want to motivate us on a Wednesday? <laughs> uh uh, it's not entering. Don't it's so, it's and the fact that they are not sticking to only fair ladies any yeah. longer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. something to it talk about. I love mm -hmm. it. What song yeah. do we have next on the countdown? Right. Oh, the countdown is this one that has remained in the same sport. It was here last week and it is there this weekend. That is. This particular one by Davido featuring CK. It is La La, la, la but la, I la, think la, it should be scrapped. 
<laughs> but <it's> good. Yeah. <laughs> this one has been doing so well, mm -hmm. and it mm -hmm. is 5.3 million views True. on YouTube Woo! in the space of when to when. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. is really doing well. Ladies mm -hmm. and gentlemen, J Vito featuring CK. La 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 It's not Dala. It's la la la. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Nothing anybody can tell me was da la 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 la. And for me, anything you want to hear, you hear it. Moving on yeah. swiftly. I'm not even going to allow you. <laughs> At number two, we have our Grammy boy. Mm -hmm. Yes, he just announced that he's going to be on tour in four different cities Paris, Amsterdam, Los Amazing. Angeles, and London all summer. So if you're in any of those cities, you can definitely catch him out. You know who I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. It's none other than Burner Boy. Boy. At number two, same spot last week with Kilo Mita. Hey, Kilo. Kilo, 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 Thank you very much, Bonaboy, for giving us a walkout song, what? Kilometer. And Bonaboy was actually what? running. Running! Oh, and we're catching cruise with yeah. Bonaboy on Twitter without. <laughs> Kilometer. Kilo 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 I mean, I love it, Chad. Yeah. I love it. Amazing, ladies and gentlemen. Before we tell you number one song for this week, let's take you through a recap of the countdown so far. At number 10, we had DJ KY featuring Fino with Highway. At number nine, we gave you Master Craft Zlatan and Bella Schmurder with Hallelujah. Yes, at number eight, Check and Fireboy DML came in with history. And of course, number seven, we had Timmy Dakolo with Everything I'm Man. At number six, Parisa featuring Davido, Somebody Baby. <laughs> at number five, Teddy featuring Davido for you. And of course, number four, we had Kiss Daniel featuring Phil Kiss with Necessary. At number three, Davido featuring CK. La la, scrap. Not Dala. <laughs> Dala. <laughs> at number two, Bonaboy ran his race on Kilometer. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, our number one song for this week, claiming the top spot for the third time in a row. Yes, we have Whiskey featuring Thames, and this one is titled Essence. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, my name is OJ, and I did this alongside da la 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 yeah, da la 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 And of course, your girlfriend next door, on the first. Ladies and gentlemen, number one, Whiskey, Thames, Essence. We'll catch you guys tomorrow. Hey. This hey. is where you can twerk. Hey. Hey.